Welcome to the Animation Chef's Test Kitchen, where sautéing successful short animation is the soup du jour. Now here is our half-baked master chef, straight from our animating oven. Welcome. Today we sketch out how we did our lawn surfing last week. Uh, we had so many people ask us, how did you do that? That we thought we would dedicate a whole episode to showing you what kind of fancy moves we do to produce the animation of lawn surfing. The good news is you don't have to go to the top of a big grass hill in order to surf on the lawn. You just have to remember the spacing of the bouncing ball. To begin, we had to start somewhere, so we began with the getting ready shuffle of the surfing chef. We started, of course, with a lawn. Then one of the chefs laid on the tummy, the other one, put his foot up on top, and then we had the camera operator. And now we are good to go. Let's look at this from the top. If you remember back to the bouncing ball, you will remember the spacings. If we move the chef back and forth according to these spacings, we will have a nice smooth warm-up effect. So we take a picture at each space. And when we play this back at 15 frames per second, we have a beautiful little warm-up. From here, if we back out, we can see the spacing we need to take off and go fast. Uh, starting a little bit at a time and spacing more and more as we move across the lawn. <coughs> then as the chefs race along, we pivot the camera. For each new space, we have a new picture. Each time, keeping the chefs in the same place on the screen. This way you can keep a nice smooth effect. So those are the basic ideas behind lawn surfing. You don't need a big grass hill to create the illusion. Although it sounds like fun, I think I'll give it a try. Look out! <laughs> Bon animate! Ha <laughs> ha!